to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. When I found the keys and found the grace, I knew this was it. I want to pray some prayers for you now and I want you to receive it listen you will thank your man of God and you will see the sincerity and the love in his heart after this meeting and the testimonies that follow listen it takes more than desire to excel the kind and the quality of grace that is upon you when we honor men we don't honor bodies we honor the sacrifice of alignment alongside the election of grace that has captured this vast dimension of graces upon their lives. Are we together? I want to pray for this grace for favor, number one. Exodus 11 and verse 3. Please give us Exodus 11 and verse 3 and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians moreover the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt in the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people notice if it is favor it works with the power of sight that means when the favor of God is upon you the only person who should not bless you is a blind man the moment they can make contact with you they are compelled by an anointing hold on the reason why moses was great was that he was in the sight of pharaoh and in the sight of the people when favor comes on you both the king and the people see you in a way that is deserving of favor exodus 3 21 and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians. What is the proof of the favor? And it shall come to pass that when ye go, prophesy to yourself, I shall not go empty. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The B part. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many? All them that looked upon her. Not them who wanted to favor her. Your mistake was just to look. The moment you can look, the anointing works by the power of sight. Please, I'm not just exciting you. Believe in what I'm telling you. She obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 17, same chapter. Read verse 17 if you're a Christian. One to read. And the king loved Esther above. Stop. Above. Above. That means before Esther came, there were others he was looking at. But as soon as she showed up, he loved them, but he loved her above and she obtained grace and favor again in his more than all the virgins so that he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti are you ready to receive I want to pray for you now the power of God will come on you you don't have to kneel just believe 
there is a lady here who is going to shout right now a loud shout under the anointing the moment that happens that grace for favor will begin to move across this is what i just saw in the spirit the power of god is coming on it it's not something you can stand it is it is these are dynamics of the anointing a loud shout is an anointing of the spirit that will come right now i'm ready to pray for you now father in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of the living god help them please i decree right now may that grace and that unction my goodness let it come upon you right now take that grace take that grace take that anointing help that lady please supernatural favor i decree and declare i place it as a mantle upon your head go and excel i shift systems and structures by the power of prophecy may that grace rest upon you find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with egyptians find favor with kings in the name of jesus In the name of Jesus hallelujah there is honor is a grace listen you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon you by another honor is a grace that is transferable do you know what is is honor honor means to be seen for who you truly are and to be rewarded to match the true worth of your person that's what honor means favor means to be preferred but honor means to be given the regard that befits your sacrifice you can be great but if honor is not on you you will not be rewarded to match your true worth let me show you a scripture numbers 27 from verse 18 to 20 let's hurry up for time we're wrapping up now the lord said unto moses Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit already, and lay your hands upon him. Is that in your Bible? Verse 2. It says, Set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. Verse 20 please read it if you're a christian one to read and thou shalt put some of your honor on him that all the congregation of the children of israel may be obedient people don't listen to you just because you are sincere there is honor that comes upon you call moses he's already filled with the holy spirit but lay your hands upon him and then in anointing him don't leave him like that transfer some of your honor to him honor is transferable can i pray for you father just help those under the anointing i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may that grace right now may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ that grace for honor everything that has despised your grace everything that has despised the investment of God upon your life I change that narrative by this mantle in the name of Jesus Christ 
help them please in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Joseph Joseph I'm hearing a name Joseph who is that Joseph we're wrapping up what do you do my friend What do you hold on? What do you do? What do you do? Who is a who is a music minister here? You is, is he a member? Huh? You sing. Listen to me. You see that prayer on the iron gate. Go and pray that prayer when you go back. I want to pray for you because truly God wants to lift you. But this this is not just by human connections is not what this is by the spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god may that grace that gives visibility something is coming on you right now take that grace now in the name of jesus christ you will never be the same take that grace by the power of the holy spirit anybody here that works in access bank access bank access bank oh I know him I didn't even know he was one There are strange liftings that are coming to people in this place I stretch my hands three of you I, you don't have to kneel in the name of Jesus Christ I place an anointing upon you that in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ this grace for favor let it come upon you right now for your lifting you take that grace find favor even with your administrators in the name of jesus and every conspiracy of darkness to implicate you we cancel it right now by the blood of the lamb in the mighty name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ two more prayers i want to release the grace for speed truly there is a grace for speed now hear me I don't know how we're going to do it I just have maybe less than two three minutes and I'm done thank you for your patience with me but I want to release this grace from the depth of my heart I told you true dominion is dominion over time now whether you are an usher or not please help me in this prayer because the hand of God will come on people and they will start running physically I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and you can bring them out Right now, I stretch my hands. This, this ministry would be characterized by and with a strange order of speed. I stretch my hands at the count of three. My God, I'm just seeing fire rest on people. Please bring those under the anointing. Right now, at the count of three. One. Bring them up. Two. Three, take that grace now. Help them. Speed. Speed. Help them, please. My God. Speed. Speed. Receive that grace. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I command speed. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. Speed in career. I cause the root of delay by 
by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I cause a bakato shedegata. Prateske tebe katosiata. Embra katoskatia. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anashana kaparago sadika te brata. Kalabranda gata prosega te belekoto sopra katosia. Embra katosh. You'll never be the same. Speed. Ten years in one year. Ten years I prophesy. Ten years in one year. The results of ten years in one year. Ten years in one year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. I stand in partnership with the grace upon your man of God. In three months from today. According to the mystery of the ark. In the house of Obed Edom. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. And I speak to you. Between now and the next three months. I shift you to a new season. Help them. I shift you to a new season. Hear me. We're wrapping up. That night could not the king sleep. And he said, Bring me the chronicles. And they opened the chronicles and he saw where Mordecai had saved the life of the king and was not rewarded. Hear me. Many of you have been part of the success story of many and yet you've been forgotten. I stand by prophecy. Let the book of remembrance be open now. There is an anointing coming on your wife, sir. I'm seeing an angel pour like oil on her. And the Lord is saying she's entering a season of reward. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. She's entering a strange season of reward. Let me say it again. Anyone who has forgotten you, I stand in partnership with the grace of your man of God. May that book of remembrance be opened now. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake in the name of Jesus the son of the living God by this fire that is coming upon you I decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are in this Abuja I speak to the north I speak to the east I speak to the south I speak to the west I command them to show up for you now Hallelujah. Last prayer point. Please hear me. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. It says, Believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. Can I tell you this? There are different dimensions and levels of wealth. There is wealth that comes by providing value, there is wealth that comes by relationships but there is wealth that comes by prophecy it says by this time tomorrow and when he said it the one who the king leans on said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this happen i want to pray for you praying the prophetic dimension of wealth is not a license for laziness however in this kingdom we're not just left with economic principles there is a superior advantage that in addition to the value that we provide in addition to the relationships that come based on our impacting lives my life is a testimony i can tell you there is a prophetic dimension of wealth in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters i pray for you finally in this prayer session of fasting and praying in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God 
the same grace that took a raven and it brought bread for Elijah at Brook Cherith. The same grace that took coin and put it in the mouth of a fish. The same grace that turned five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 people with 12 baskets remaining. By the power of the prophetic, in the name of Jesus, I connect you to strategic relationships. <laughs> strategic relationships in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Let me encourage, particularly those who have come here for the first time, since God has brought you here, make it a commitment to commit yourself in prayer. Commit yourself. If just one meeting brought you this kind of impact, you can imagine what happens. He say, ye who have continued with me. And so let me lend my voice with your man of God to encourage you that more and more people continue to come and experience the good hand of God and that you have the staying power and the stamina to finish through in the name of Jesus. For those of you who have been exhausted, let fresh strength be supplied. For you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.